All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to what may or may not be the final stream of Laplace's Demon here on UberQuest. I, I don't actually know. We started to, to sort of mess with the like the, the next upcoming piece of the game. Like I, I just went on a little bit just to, to see what was going to happen, and it seemed kind of final. Oh, hey, Prinny. How's it going? Um, so, yeah, we... we we teleported via the Elder Sign, and the Elder Sign would not let us go back. So, I'm guessing we're pretty much there. So this is going to be like the, the start of the end. I do want to make sure that we do everything that we need to do before we... Before we just go running off. Looks like a fairy tale wizard in a black robe. Oh, is standing near Weathertop Hall. Okay. Okay, so the, the mysterious wizard guy is going to be that guy. He's got a name. Is it Louvain? Hey, now. I didn't say anything happened before. Oh, another time vanished. Oh, boy. I have. Don't call him Oriental. That's that's kind of racist. But again, probably expected in 1924. Cool. So we did use up all of our abilities that mattered or use up all our points to level up our abilities that matter. Cody, welcome, welcome. How's it going? And then the other, the only other thing I wanted to make sure I remembered was one, to make sure we've got any, <laughs> ignore the bee. I will ignore the bee. I know what that's like to accidentally just have like a random, random mistyped character. Okay, so the Sinkidea buy another one of those. Yeah, I think it would be a good idea to have one additional sword, just in case um, it ends up like that Vincent's device or whatever uh, isn't good enough. And we need to just start cutting everything in sight. Where are you going to put it? I've already answered that question with a threat, so... We'll just leave it at that. Oh, things are going well for me. I uh, did not lose my voice yesterday, which I half expected to. Shell circlet. Yeah, warping to an Elder Sign doesn't really help. We do have one of these. Just in case we're going to have one of those sitting around. Resave at the hotel. And Morgan gets us. We have a shotgun. Since when do we have a shotgun? the shotgun as well. Okay. Let's do this. Whatever this is. I feel like we no longer have any real room to bother taking photos. I guess, um... I don't know why a scientist would be incapable of wielding a shotgun, but, you know. Where's Louvain? So, um... That's too many people. And I don't recognize a couple of them. Let's 
So he's going to continue zapping, guys. And Morgan's done taking photos. She's ready to just cut. Not bad. She's been training her whole life for this. What are you using? Oh, whoa, whoa, Vincent, what are you doing? You're wasting time. 40 hit points, okay. Oh! <laughs> oh! It double killed him. Mutants and Masters. I believe I've heard of that, but I... Don't necessarily... I haven't, I haven't played it. The other science power has been sealed away. You can't. Yeah. Oh no, I can't return to Nukem. Oh, that's cool. Go through the door. Okay. Hello, standing here. Right, Lady Cassandra is waiting at the witch's house by the lake. For now, I shall send you to the courtyard on the south end of this floor. The castle is in chaos because of Benedict's intrusion. Please hurry while you have the chance. Be careful. Add off chance of spell. I pronounce his name differently every time. What floor is this? Where are we? It's been it's been a week. I have no idea where I am. Ah, I'm Everinthia. Welcome. Ooh, a persona themed homebrew tabletop RPG. Consider me jealous. Oh hey. There's a sign woman here. <laughs> you guys don't follow you all the way here. I hope I got saved too, yeah. We could not flee. No! They're just lizards. They're fine. Just need to get that looked at. All right. Now. So Cassandra's waiting... At the witch's house? Which is where she was already. I've seen Louvain emerge from the Elder Sign on the first floor. But the signs were sealed by Master Laplace, so nobody should be able to pass through them. Well, Louvain is... a jerk, then. Yeah. It's like the second fight that she's attacked a thing in and she killed it. This room is just icy cold. There seems to be something inside the statue. This is new.
Oh, detective only. I was like, what is all this stuff? Why, where did I, where did I get these weapons? Could I, could I cast a fire spell? Clearly not. I feel like I'm just straight up missing something. Like I should have something in my inventory that I don't. I can't think of what, like, I, yeah, I can't think of anything that I would be able to get that would, that would help that. Be the judge of that, buddy. It is really unfortunate that there's really no point in fighting these fights. Especially if this is the end of the game and there's not going to be another chance to level our skills. Oh! Hey, buddy! You want to join me? Ryan, so you're safe! Princess Cassandra is waiting! As I have been instructed to escort you, I shall accompany you. Well, that's just wonderful. What floor are we on? Is this the... Okay, that's where the chasm was. I'm just doing... I'm drawing, drawing magic sigils in them. As you do. Oh, hey, third floor. <laughs> we ignored the kobolds. If it isn't Jambone, he sees, he sees me. He's coming this way. Princess Cassandra, wait. You could have not stood there and then just said nothing and we would have been fine. It's the Witch of the Lake. Don't make me worry. I scrounged up as much good stuff as I could manage. The left exit to the north is the Jambone Shop. The right exit is where the weary can find some respite. A woman of great beauty is standing before me. I know who she is. Oh boy, I just remembered the voice. <clears throat> Ryan, glad to see you safe and sound. Since Benedict's returned to this castle, I thought you might also say I was sent for being an adult. It seems Benedict is hiding beneath the castle, but the guards my father dispatched in throw to his paranoia are now blocking the entrance to the undercroft. My father is deeply afraid and is doubting his own station. If we try now, we may be able to persuade him to relinquish the power of the demon. Please take him in his letter and persuade him of the error of his ways. Princess's letter received. <clears throat> all right. Yeah, she, she gave me all the good stuff. This looks like a bedroom. Hey, how about that? Interesting. So we're just done in New Camp. All right, Jambone. Jambone's here. This is Jambone's tool shop. Need something? Oh, you can sell photos. Learned Death's Sickle Mythos. 
Learn full restore mythos. Learn revive mythos. Learn phlogiston explosion. I know all the mythos. You still haven't taken any more pictures. Oh yeah, we, we have to double up. Somebody sleeps under the bed, you know. Witch! Japanese Crease Neck Mortuary Sword. Deals physical damage. Alright, Scottish Claymore. Or PIs, Veterans, or Ksakabe? I can get him as a party member? I'm interested in this. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? We got Cactus Extract. Remedies. Okay. Look to an Elder Sign. That seems useless. Solar Charm, Lunar Charm. Effective Medicine, Adequate Medicine. All classes. So this is the same stuff here. There's a great coat. You get a Scottish Claymore or a Mortuary Sword. The thing is, it's cheaper. It's cheaper than the sword that I have. So I have to guess that it's not good enough. Okay, so... Where was I going? Okay, I have to talk. You have to go find Benedict. But she didn't tell me where he is, did she? Long ago, my father was just a mathematician, but something changed when he conceived of the demon of the power to sell all futures. Sell all futures and to choose the one you wish. So we are going. I guess we're going back to the fourth floor, right? new here. However, it is all still really good stuff. And what's his face here? Sir Bayard is a veteran? Yeah, so he could use that Scottish Claymore. Okay. Let's just continue onward and see what happens. Because it may be that we have leveled enough and we're just ready. That's how you want it. <laughs> well, if you just run, then rest, then run, then rest. A guard, he's attacking. Well, yeah. That was the point. <laughs> they're, they're a certain kind of hermit that, you know, they, they shun society, but they do it together. Or, maybe it's one hermit who has split his physical whatever into three. I know neither of these is actually a decent answer, but 
It's all I got. Yeah. <laughs> I don't appreciate the, the gesture they're making there. I think I can get away with just resting. A guard, he's attacking. Oh, we didn't even, we didn't even get close. You just, you just chill. Why did that guard take so little damage? <laughs> I mean, in theory, uh, two, but but the game is, is is trying desperately to push all the boundaries. Okay, so if I... Incubus. I want to just check on this side. Hey, lady. If you're serious about fighting Master Laplace, you probably should see the old spinstress. Oh, I know who, who she's talking about, actually. <laughs> she's talking about the lady in the room to the right up here. I see a guard, and he sees me as well. You know how it goes. I assume it's Laplace because, uh... Because it, it's French, but I don't actually speak French, so that's just me. That's me kind of putting my own spin on it. Now, I want to check out this room. We ignored the bad guys. I, I can't remember if no, this is where the this is where we found Amy. I think. Nope, wrong button. Yeah, I think that's where we found Amy. So we're done there too. Yeah, it's it's French, so it's it's pronounced blah. No. I kid, I know a couple of French people, and they're cool. At least it's not Gaelic. <laughs> Picture an incubus. I'll pay all kinds of extra money for that. I think I think Jambon in particular is uh, probably super into that that photo. have gone that way instead that wouldn't have been that wouldn't have been faster what is the name of Laplace's demon I as a theoretical mathematical and statistical probability construct it didn't have a name it was just it was Laplace's demon it was not an actual thing it was a a theory about how if there were a some sort of supernatural being that knew the exact momentary state of every atom in the universe it could rewind its knowledge infinitely backwards and also infinitely forwards to uh, to predict the future
I call him Alfred. All right, seamstress lady. Are you here to see Master Laplace? If anybody can stop him, it'd be you. Take this. This little rabbit. Do I equip it? Do I equip it? Do I equip it? Nope. It's probably just a use in battle kind of item. Holy Roman branch. For, oh, for exorcisms. I see. What's that other thing I have? Princesses Miss Aya, that's just a that's just a letter. Perhaps we may be able to rescue him from the what's got him spooked. Plus is not the only one who can influence his servants. Those of his bloodline will be obeyed by his creations as well. Oh. Is that how they do? A fine how do you do. I'm assuming I can't just go past the, the dumb statue and I have to do the gauntlet again. But I'll do the left gauntlet. <laughs> Some power seals the way, and it seems to be rather impenetrable to entry. Okay. I mean, do I... <laughs> do we take a nap? I guess we're doing this the hard way. Hey, buddy. I am Laplace's servant. This is a path only he may pass. Leave at once. Making me mad. Stop it. Hmm. Well, we didn't consider this. It doesn't make you use keys, luckily. The uh, the keys are all, like, infinite use type items. So we have, you know, we can just uh, press a button and, and it opens the door if we have the, the proper key for it. So I can't do that. If I can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're 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 all jerks for not being jerks. We could just we could just pick the statue up and put him aside. But Derpy, welcome. Let's see if the old lady has something to say about that. Master Laplace is scared, perhaps we I've already done that. Trying to, trying to find our way past this, this dumb gargoyle, and run from all these fights that there's no point in fighting. This is bloodline. All right, so we can't. We just cannot get through here. I wonder, then, I wonder. Let's see what happens if we go back to that Elder Sign. Because the lady who was talking about the seamstress. Or just this. <laughs> yeah, I did finally shave. The, the scruff, it, so it never gets very long. It just gets to a point where it's at, like, its sort of maximum thickness. And at that point, it gets itchy, and I start finding, like, little, you know, mildly infected follicles. And it just gets generally uncomfortable, so I, I got rid of it. And I also got a haircut. Suddenly, the space before me warps. We 
we meet again, warriors from another world. What? You just expected to return here, settle down, and live happily ever after? The end? Have all the punctuation all at once? Ah! Oops! What horrible goal have you in mind now, Louvain? Why, I'm just going to kill Blast and take the demon right from him. Brilliant! Oh, this is, uh, this is Benedict. Benedict Justiger. Justiger. Crush them, Louvain. Do as I command at once. Not just yet, Benedict. If left alive, you know they'll definitely get in my way. So if you won't kill them, then I will. Stop, you fool. They are not to be taken lightly. They managed to defeat Laplace, as you recall. I've long since surpassed Laplace's power. It's been like 20 minutes. I can easily eliminate them. That's enough, Benedict. Damn it. You people from the other world, further conflict between us is pointless. The Elder Sign is sealed and you have no means to return to your world, make your time. Do you really wish to die so far from home? Don't you have loved ones you want to see? My power can send you back, oh yes. How about it? Return to Newcomb? That's fun. That's real fun. Oh, I, I say hi back. Hi, Sheila. Assuming you're actually watching and not just off in the background hanging out. So I'm guessing, hmm, is this a, I'm not doing it. I see, oh well. Well then. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You, you you give me a chance to go back and it's like, wow, that feels like we're doomed. I'm not doing that. All right, so, Louvain, hit him, hit him. Uh, scanner's going to be useless, so zap him, hit him, hit him. Everybody hit him, just do it. Cut Louvain. Well then. Okay. I understand my predicament. for Louvain. <laughs> Fear the power of the holy sword bestowed upon me by the princess! You must run away while you still can! Oh! Baird! Sorry, Baird. Yes, <laughs> impenetrable Snuggie. <laughs> yeah, I love it. What do you need from me? <laughs> sound. <laughs> I don't see Bayard. What happened? Oh, I see. He was a knight to the end, wasn't he? You need my father's permission to enter his room. I can help. I get the feeling that if I run away now, I'll, I'll never see my father again. Is he going to die? Is he going to die before we get to get to sleep? Oh, no. He's taking one hit point per. This looks like a bedroom. Oh, he's still poisoned. Come on. Come on, Lamont. You disappoint me, Lamont. We'll just take a nap outside the bedroom. It's fine. Actually, I don't have any... I didn't take any photos. So I got no new money. The 
okay, Cassandra, the, the princess, is that actually her, her, uh, class? I think the curved back sword is better. Oh, she's level seven. Oh, we're, we're all level seven. When did that happen? Did I internalize some experience while I wasn't paying attention? I'm just going to keep moving. I very briefly considered using using this as an opportunity to up my stats a little bit more, but <laughs> Yeah, it was it was right around that that SMT level of quality. That's not true at all. Although, yeah, demon dialogue in SMT can be pretty pretty lame, too. A guard, he's attacking. Guard, he attacked. Yeah. Yeah, and often it's extremely difficult to tell in an SMT game where, uh, where your choices are actually going to get you. I actually did start to get attached to Bayard the first time, but then, you know, he was just like, I need to, I need to protect Cassandra, and then just kind of ran off. Use cry phones. He leaned. Ow. He's very heavy. Ooh, I haven't played Royal yet. I know it's a little bit easier in Persona 5 to actually start to learn based on the the personality types and the moods of, of different demons what your answers are going to get you. Oh wait, I need to fight him. A guard, he's attacking. We step back. It's fine. I didn't, I didn't actually want to hit you anyway. But yeah, I love negotiation in Persona 5. I always thought it was kind of weird that you're not at a little bit more of an advantage to start because, you know, you've got them surrounded at gunpoint. That's real handy. So what happens if I step on this now? Exactly nothing. All right, so the the doohickey should let me through now, because Cassandra is like, well, she's Benedict's daughter, but I think Benedict is of the bloodline. I think they're both descended from Laplace. I think that's the secret that the game hasn't actually bothered telling me yet. The corpse is grotesquely but the corpse is grotesquely bent as the giant's hand had twisted it. Oh. Oh. You too? The, cor <laughs> the corpse is bent as if crushed by the hand of some giant. So the demon was was sicked on them, okay. Or was it you? Cassandra approaches the stone statue and just says, Get out of my way, you jerk. I am Cassandra, Laplace's daughter and part of his bloodline. Wait, she's Laplace's? That's right, she is Laplace's daughter. 
she's from this world. Never mind. Guardian of Laplace, I order you in my father's name. Open the path. <laughs> okay. Bye. Is his name Pierre? Because if so, yeah, yeah, it is. It, it's based on the the actual French mathematician who actually did come up with a uh, a mathematical theory called Laplace's demon. Father, I must tell you something. Please come out and meet me. Actually, I should be giving him a French accent. <laughs> Cassandra and I guess some in the world step before me. I will help you with your problems. His face twisted with rage. You, you would conspire with Benedict to usurp the power of my demon. You are not worthy to read the transcendent power that my demon has bestowed upon me. You misunderstand, Father. These people do not work for Benedict. Hear me out. We just want to save you, Father. Save me? I don't need saving. Who are you? Who is this? I don't know who's talking. The <laughs> wow. For for the first time, telling some somebody that they're wrong worked. It's too late for me. Follow. Leave. Get out of my sight at once. Just then. A jerk appears behind Laplace. Impossible! Wait, what? What? Hold on, I don't know what's going on. Because this is, this is Kenichiro. I don't know what he's doing back there. Yeah, it was, it was French enough to be uh, offensive to French people, so I, I apologize if I'm offending anybody with my uh, my terrible accents. I'll show you just how pathetic you are without your veins, Ed. I'll show you true proof of sovereign majesty. Trick me. Who's... So, are, are there, like, three extra people in the room that I don't see? Benedict raised the mistletoe rod and light burst forth from it. Is this divine anouement? <laughs> anouement? That's a mistletoe rod. My powers have left me! <laughs> now that your supernatural powers have been frozen out, you're just another man. Just another man whose fate is to freeze to death inside my icy nebula. But my power! <laughs> Whoa. This is... This is crazy. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh yeah, he raised the mistletoe rod and then he... He, he leaned in for, for smooches. Except it wasn't Christmas Eve, so apparently it doesn't count. Folder! Cassandra steps between the two of them. Oh, no. And everybody's dead. Benedict, please stop. Even if you acquire the blossom demon, all that awaits you is destruction. That foul monster is beyond anyone's control. You're wrong, Princess Cassandra. Or your father failed, I shall succeed. I don't know what voice to do for him. I'm <laughs> Louvain has awoken a new power within me. Now, Cassandra, obey my will and come to me key part of the ceremony to open the way to the space where the demon hides. No, please! Benedict, let go of Princess Cassandra. She's already mine, fools. And now I have everything for my pact with the demon. You don't have a voice. Sh just shut up, Lamont. What are we going to do about Cassandra? Wait, but hurry up and save her, huh? She's gotta be. She's the the news reporter, so she's going for like the scoop. <laughs> Am I okay? I just there were too many different characters all going on at once, so I uh, I had to. <laughs> oh yeah, she could probably just hear hear me like screaming and hollering and carrying on. Too many characters, too much to do. Except again, Lamont doesn't have a voice. Yeah, must stop Benedict. He cannot possibly control Laplace's demand. None can. 
The dimension may all possible futures. So I could craft my own, but what value is there in the future without novelty? Be relevant as well, he is also but a puppet of the demon. No, it might be best to say he is the dark shadow of my own mind. The friend sprang from my own doubts of the pact I made, my own fears of Laplace's demon birth in. You see, the demon cannot judge morality. It responds only to your desires, your needs. It does not discern between good or evil. The friend's goal is dark, one I tried to bury inside. And now to fulfill this desire, I, <coughs> I tried to suppress. He used Benedict to try to steal the demon's power, and he still harbors one of my other dark desires, to conquer your world. I bestow upon you my royal regalia, my crown and ring. Donning my crown will cause all secrets of the dim, 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 to show them test to you. Show the ring's crest to Louvain and remind him of his humble origins. It's the pact which first bound his power to this world. The demon bail of vain from my mind based on the raven crest on this ring. The possession of, po possession of it is a form of power over him. The Elder Ring, uh, Elder Ring and Laplace Regalia requ are required. I wanted to build a perfect future, but now I have no future at all. <clears throat> it's Laplace's corpse. So do I equip that then? I do not. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, it, it sounded like a whole a room of different people, because that's exactly what it was. And I still, I, I literally do not know who one of the people was, just based on the the, uh, the portrait. It was that, like, side view of the guy that had, like, a green collar or something. I don't know who that was. Yeah, Laplace's Corpse. It's a much more boring game. I mean, it's, you know, it's just 40 hours of a corpse. I don't actually know what that means, then. Can't imagine we're going to get very far here. Shadow. You still dead, lady? Yep, she's still dead. You know, that that could be. I don't actually remember what the portrait looked like for the male character, but... I definitely didn't recognize the face. Oh yeah, that's um, that's a weird thing that happens in the, the anytime you're in an area that's. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. Um, yeah, anytime you're in an area where the lighting is low enough that you can only see a certain distance, when you start running, it takes away all of the like extended vision. It doesn't really do anything. I mean, I, as long as you know roughly where everything is, it's. It's not a problem. But I also try not to run too much. <laughs> We're gonna get to the same exact spot. Yeah, it kind of feels like an afterthought, like just something they, they threw in and... You didn't have the the overall effect that they were hoping for. Okay. So I'm going to go back and talk to the witch. Hey, buddy. I can't, I can't talk to the guard. I can't, ah. Ooh, he crunched. 
He crunched, but he didn't munch. <laughs> they can crunch or they can glare. Can y'all stop hitting Vincent? I don't appreciate the fact that Vincent took that much damage. Hopefully that's enough. Really close, but not quite. Okay, so there's one more. One more staircase that we could use to get out of here. Okay, we're, we're not blocked here. See another elder sign? It's closed. It's being remodeled. Ain't this a pickle? I mean, there are other ways I could go. You know what? I wonder if I could just... <laughs> the elder sign open nine to five. What's their slogan? I'm I'm real curious. Everybody get on that. I'm gonna make up a slogan for for I'm I'm guessing a terrible fast food place called Elder Sign. Actually, I want to try something here. Okay, so this this door is locked. Oops. This door is locked, but we have the ring or the regalia. Okay, no. Even Lovecrafty and horrors can equal the garbage we put in these burgers. Yeah. It's... That's that doesn't even speak to uh, how Lovecraft was actually a terrible, terrible person. Cannot escape using traditional means. People are dead. Must be rather impenetrable. And then Laplace's throne room doesn't have uh, any other exits. There are those other hallways, though, just for fun. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Tastes like elder. It seems like if if they had a a 
real like popular slogan it would be in uh i wouldn't even know how to pronounce the actual like name of it really whoa what cassandra's voice rings out clearly father i must tell you something please come wait what oh this is not correct that's weird this is weird None of that should have happened. This should not be happening. Yeah, I see her there. Okay, this is... This is just all messed up. Okay, so I know exactly where the entrance to that is. That's what it is. Okay, I know what needs to be done. I thought I heard a voice. What if I try to put the ring back on him? Okay, so because I have the ring and the, uh, the crown, I should just be allowed to wield the, the power of the the gross thing over here. There we go. <laughs> We're off the map! Well, this feels pretty final. Yeah. It's kind of funny, though, because watching the, the, the cutscene, the, the broken cutscene a second time, actually was exactly what I needed to realize what I had missed. So this is where they keep the good Elder sign. It's like the fine china, but the... Now, let's see before me an ornate altar atop which the unconscious Cassandra is being crucified. Decked out in ceremonial garb before the altar is Benedict. He holds a dagger and is chanting a strange spirit. The stars are right. The stars are right and fate will see them. It's not a song. And fate will see the path now open. Oh, great demon who sees all futures, may this sacrifice be your beacon unto this cursed world. That's enough, Benedict. Ryan, how did you get here? You know my name. I see you've come to stop me, but you're already too late. Benedict thrusts his dagger into Princess Cassandra's ribcage, and she gasps. Blood gushes out onto the altar, and she goes in. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah, Cassandra's, uh... There's not a lot of food in the castle, so... <laughs> Princess Cassandra, no! Oh. Wow. Okay. Inside the rift is an endless void filled with purple light. <laughs> Today's the first day of my world conquest! Benedict is flung inside the rift, and he's dead. A deafening roar like that of a landslide suddenly filled our ears. I don't think of landslides as being like accompanied by deafening roars so much. You don't have a voice, Lamont. Shut up. Ho oh. ho! 
picking it up. I dive into the rift. Everyone else dies. How strange this space seems. Purple light is coming from all around. There are no buildings, only a road that stretches onward. Oh man. It's really hard to make out. Although I don't think it matters. I think this whole thing is just kind of looping over onto one thing. Wall appeared. Yeah, this <laughs> purple is relative. It's a very bluish purple. Oh, you shenanigans. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, those are the Walmart camels, you know? You've seen those, right? It's their their mascot. <laughs> Man, they're they're just a little too big for my comfort. I found a door. I found a Benedict. <clears throat> door Benedict. Oh, the reason I'm not bothering with these fights is because there is actually very little value in doing so. Uh, because the the stats and abilities that I would want to upgrade, uh, I can't I can't do that anymore because you can only do that back in town. And also, most fights are not worth nearly enough experience to be worth, uh, you know, the trouble. Louvain waits for me here. So you came this far, but I can't let you interfere as I sacrifice Benedict. Sacrifice Benedict? Didn't Laplace tell you? Surely you recall. To summon Laplace's demon into a world, one with memories of that world, must be offered to it as a sacrifice. The role Benedict now occupies. The fool? He's probably going before Laplace's demon right now, never once considering that he's fallen right into my little trap. This is all too much. You're extreme. He thought himself a king, but instead was but a pawn. I didn't expect you to follow Benedict, but your presence helped to confuse Laplace. So thanks, but your future ends here. Okay, so I am supposed to use the ring. Everybody else just guard. Magic pours out of the ring and Louvain screams and draws back. Okay, that ring, that scissor, keep it away from me. So that damn Laplace figured out my true origin. Oh. The lower half of his body becomes that of a horrid giant serpent. Louvain showed us his real body and it was uglier than ugly should ever be. You think you're going to live past this, but you have no idea. <laughs> oh, that's neat. So it's actually just... It's like Louvain on a... on a worm. Seems about right. So yeah, um, only, you know, actually, you know, I was going to say only three digits can be shown for each of these, but I think what it actually is, is bosses that are above a certain, like, power level just confuse the scanner, so it, these numbers are useless. Yeah, he is still pretty, he's just, you know, got all kinds of other problems. I heard his mind. That seemed decently powerful. Like, I think I think we're doing some good damage, especially because Morgan's not wasting her time taking photos.
<laughs> Monster Musco, I like it. I didn't want to watch Monster Musume, so I will also not watch that, but I love the idea. Centaur Boy. Bring in an Incubus, I'm sure that works. That's all Death Sickle does? Suddenly I'm not really all that impressed. I got a wee bit spooked. Oh yeah, yeah, there was a there was a harpy. Alright, let's uh yeah, we'll zap his mind. special now. Oh yeah, Slime Boy too. Bring on the monsters. <laughs> she shot him with a knife. Now see, that's good experience. But still, I will not yield. I must use Lothlas' demon to invade and conquer other worlds. From that dark desire was I made, and it shall be. Ow, I'm dead. Even though Laplace was killed, thinking about it, I feel sorry for... No, me, man, I feel sorry for him somehow. Because Vincent's a dork. Austin, welcome. So, okay. One down. So, okay, so now we gotta kill him. I see a form before me made of shadow. It's Benedict, but you know. In its center floats a giant eye, one that seems to be seeing everything. <laughs> it's Laplace's demon. Laplace's demon, come before me, I command you. Benedict holds up an amulet and points it at the demon tentacles that were before. Ten tentacles that were before crawling from the figure now withdraw as if afraid. That's a little, little too wordy. Just a little. Again, he doesn't have a voice. That's true, yeah. If you if you load a, a knife onto a crossbow, it's I mean it's a projectile piece of ammo. Oh, you turned your back. You get eaten. Just let it happen. <laughs> nope. A wet red pulp of flesh. <laughs> it it it's feet it's eating. Space itself rips apart as the ground disappears beneath our feet. We're hurled into a rift between dimensions. This bracelet envelops us with a warm glow. Protect us as we enter the dimensional rift. That is magic. No, you don't have a voice. You don't talk. Like, wait, is... Okay, I was gonna say, come on. At some point, this this has to be like, <laughs> like Louvain. Louvain could not have been the final boss. He was a complete pushover.
I can barely hear the music. I hope it's good. This demon got hurt. It must have a lot of hit points because it's it's like weak against everything. Oh my goodness. something that can do ethereal arrow Where, when did I get that not that I think it's any good but hold on to that. hold on to everything I feel like there's a an imbalance in how the spells work and regular attacks, they're going to pretty much always be better than attack spells. Poke its eye out. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, obviously this isn't his final form. How could we possibly believe that? Cure injury. So there's treat injury and then there's cure injury. I heal the body. I never got healed on mind, which would be neat. a good heal. And she's only going to do mind damage and not that much with uh, with her special, so don't bother. Her special is trash. Hey! I return to the other side and wear the top hall. <laughs> Turns out the secret to destroying the Elder Sign was to take a photo of it. It's 
never made it into our world. I went back to Weathertop Hall the next day, but the Elder Signs had vanished. Now, the memories of those events feel like half-forgotten dreams. But then I take hold of Cassandra's bracelet and Laplace's crown. And I sell them, and I remember it all. Benedict and his quest to revive his mother. Louvain's diabolical schemes playing Benedict for a pawn. King Laplace, who built a perfect future and lost all to that perfection. Cassandra, who loved her father, even though she opposed him. Louvain, who joked at the tragedy born from Laplace's death. You already talked about Louvain, stop it. So much pain and loss, all for a perfect future. Laplace's demon is a horrid thing. It's omnipotent power not meant to be, but... Those who would use it to further their own ends are all the more monstrous. I look outside and see the town of Newcam becoming itself again. Just like the quiet days of yesteryear. <laughs> but the future is beyond our knowledge now. And that uncertainty is what makes life worth living. decided to end our investigation, you know, because it's everybody's dead. Time to put this weirdness behind us and move on. How do you really move on from that, though? Yeah, the future is <laughs> you refuse to change. No, oh, no. And then the town turned to sepia and it was all over. Yeah, if you ignore, if you ignore Lovecraft, just in general, no, uh, if, you, if you ignore the, the Lovecraft influence on everything, it's, it, it's a neat story. It's a neat, uh, yeah, it's a neat premise. This sort of interdimensional super monster that that, you know, can theoretically do everything, but some people from another world are just what it takes to destroy it. Asa! Good job, Asa! I wonder if they were going for Arthur. Ooh, Darkest Dungeon would be a good, uh, a good new mythos. Yet 11. <laughs> yeah. His A he got, uh, got stuck. Yet 11, you were just working overtime. Ooh. We will find out what game is next as soon as the, the credits are over here. Yeah, he's... <laughs> I was trying to be an assassin, but I was yet 11, and then ah, ah, ah. Oh yeah, since I've all got you, you got you here. This is like the, the, the last several seconds that we have. Nice translators. Um, last handful of seconds we have before the victory trigger where we select the next game. So if you go to uberquest.tv right now, you've got almost no time now. Um, you can you can put forth some gold to vote on what the next quest is going to be. And as soon as I fire off the victory trigger, which actually let me see if there's anything else to do here. Uh, as soon as the victory trigger happens, we will be selecting the new game. Three minutes. Okay, yeah, we can, we can sit and chill for... Uh, for three minutes. So yeah, Carrie just posted the link. You just go to uberquest.tv slash bounty hyphen board. And uh, if you're if you're logged in, you can use up to all of the gold that you have to, to vote on one of the six games that are that are up. Yeah, yeah, I know last time I checked Lagoon was in the lead. So 
I'm just going to take my time here. Oh, that's actually easier to see on the on the, the capture. Like the, the different shades of sepia really, really blend together on the, the TV. Can you anti... I mean, anti-donating for Earthbound is just a matter of always donating towards something else. But you can't... Like, you, you can't vote to reduce the the you know the bounty on anything and lagoon i am actually familiar with as well um that's one that uh that dan posted and uh yeah it's 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 a game that i have beaten in the past so i'm i'm plenty familiar with it oh yeah boy and his butter knife exactly yeah you have uh you have a sword. It's about this long. So that's all you got. Yeah, I mean, PJ just makes a good, a good, uh, a fun watch for a speed run no matter what. So. Okay. Well, I think that's been a couple of minutes, so it is time for the old victory trigger as I slowly type it in. Yeah, the Lagoon still had quite a ways to... It, it still had a pretty decent lead, so I, I would imagine that's still where we're going to end up, but I would love to be proven wrong. My victory has been recorded. With his quest completed, Ryan marches triumphantly back to the guild to celebrate his victory with a flagon of ale in the company of his fellow adventurers. Rest now, brave hero, and prepare for your next quest. Lagoon! Now I got up to 2310. It actually got some more, uh, some more golden support. So yeah, good old Corn Dan with the, the, the bad game suggestions, which is fine. I'm, I'm perfectly happy to play it. I've, I've. <laughs> Am I a brave hero? No, it's just that that was the the chunk of text that I threw in there. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, no, I've um. It's it's more trouble than it's worth to just start the next game. So what I'm gonna do is since I've got, okay, so I finally ordered the the media console that I'm gonna have in front here to to get rid of all the the mess of wires, and I've got a couple of things that I need to do uh, to get ready including uh, there's an outlet off to my right on the wall there that is both upside down and wired incorrectly. I need to fix that, but I'm not going to do that today. i got to get everything here shut down. Uh, one, to prepare for putting it where it goes, and two, um, so that you know when the time comes, I can get that plugged in over there and then fix a bunch of stuff here. And uh, just having a couple extra couple extra days to to prep for that is going to help and also i've got some more D, D stuff to write for the kids so there are multiple reasons why it would be best if i went ahead and just called it a night with this <laughs> lakeland has a, a drinking problem that's right yeah the the water you don't drink the water and you know just yeah. but anyway yeah like i said that is uh that's Laplace's Demon, a, uh, a neat game with troubled origins. But uh, yeah, so next stream is going to be, uh, you know, as usual, this coming Thursday, I'm going to be continuing with Horizon Zero Dawn, which hopefully everything will be, you know, cleaned up and, and nice here. Um, and then after that, next, uh, next Sunday, we'll be starting with Lagoon. And I'll have to tweet at Dan to... Uh, to, to Thank him for giving me this opportunity. I'm running out of sarcastic air quotes. Uh, um, but yeah, like I said, Lagoon, I know Lagoon, so it's it's not going to be a problem. And I have an original cartridge, so I don't have to worry about, you know, using the the, uh, the EverDrive or anything like that. But uh, yeah, anybody who's, uh, anybody who's watching who has not yet followed me on Twitch, please give me a follow. If you are able to subscribe to help support the stream, that is also appreciated, but no pressure. And like I have said the past couple of times, um, 
if you have the money to spare, uh, it would probably be best if you instead donated toward you know a, you know a Black Lives Matter supporting charity or something you know to that effect to to help you know to, to help the protesters and and help make sure that we see some actual change at the end of all this. And uh, and yeah, I think that's going to do it for me. Uh, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, also go ahead and, and subscribe or, and uh, and donate to uh, to Black Lives Matter related charities. Um, yeah, I'm. I really, I really hope that something finally positive comes out of all this. Um, but if you're watching this video later on YouTube, please subscribe there. It just takes a couple of clicks, and then come back over to twitch.tv slash RetroGamerRyan to, to do all those, all those various things that I have already mentioned. Um, so, yeah, everybody have a wonderful start to your week, and hopefully I will see you all on Thursday. This is RetroGamerRyan, signing off.